Hey Collective, it's La Mama, Little Mama. This is gonna be a different type of read. So there's gonna be many scenarios, many downloads. You know the deal, if this is your story, it is for you. But if it's not your story, it may not be for you. I won't be calling out any signs because it's a collective read. So if something may seem like, okay, it resonates, hmm, we shall see. There's a situation, right, where there's somebody that you may be attracted to or they're attracted towards you, right? And it's like your intuition is like on a thousand, right? You're like, yo, we got this spiritual connection very deep, right? And they know that you are definitely embracing your spirituality. But there is another scenario where somebody may feel like they, you know, disregarded if that makes sense because somebody is upset because you moved forward and you said that you was tired of this eating games right if it makes sense so it's like another scenario that i see is the fact that somebody is tired of this mind games and manipulation because it seems like every time they're trying to reach out to you and you probably got somebody on block and they're like damn why is it so hard to talk to you Mm. Or was there a discussion that you had with somebody and maybe you want to express that, but why low key are they saying to you, it's between me and you? Mm. Okay. But it's like collective. If there was a breakup, I don't know if it had to do with somebody being codependent on you. And it's like, you definitely getting this balance back in your life, right? And it's like, every time somebody's trying to come back and talk to you, it's like, you feel like they're hearing you, but they're really not listening to you, right? So it's like, every time you fight with this person, it doesn't feel right. And they know. So it's like, when you told somebody no, they was fucking big mad, right? Because they can't understand the fact that when you say no, it feels good because it's a complete sentence, right? But if you had walked away from somebody because you knew deep down inside that something didn't feel right, I don't know if somebody has psychological mental issues because their mind wasn't right, right? But it's like they know that you self-love yourself, right? And you're saying that you're not dealing with this manipulation. I don't know if somebody lied. I don't know if somebody was being sneaky. Mm. I don't know if somebody was in their ear saying something about you but they know that the shit wasn't true Mm -hmm. so this other situation right it's like if it had to do with a breakup if somebody keeps coming back around and they're saying yo i'm feeling you we got this deep ass connection but in the back of your mind you like shit i hope i ain't fucking caught it with this person damn so it's like how are you going to make a decision if you have someone else or they got someone else? Somebody got to make a choice, right? Mm. But as far as you wanted this balance with this person, it's like you always wanted that we with that person. Not them, not you, but y'all too, we, if it makes sense, right? But it's like if you are dealing with somebody that may be codependent on you, and you know that somebody's in their head about you they trying to figure out what you're doing somebody could be watching you trying to gather some kind of fucking information right and being the fact that if you have put somebody on red because they feel like it's hard to talk to you verbally hmm now they're trying to go back to the drawing board Mm, what kind of links could i get to collective to see what collective is doing Do you know that somebody's on social media too goddamn much? Are they on your Facebook? Are they on your Twitter? Are they on your TikTok? Or are they on the motherfucking YouTube trying to figure out what you're doing? Especially if you have your own platform. But hey, that's your business, right? But they see that you are succeeding, if that makes sense, right? And now, it's like they see you got this new kind of glow. Hmm. Somebody got that glow. That's you, collective. And they're like, damn collective is moving forward collective ain't got time for no foolishness and fuckery if it makes sense right so it's like 
getting back to that other scenario when you told somebody no child please now they can't sleep they always on motherfucking social media trying to figure out what the fuck you doing they mad because you left their ass on red and you clearly communicated to that person that you wanted the weed right and you said you was tired of this in and out right because you told they motherfucking ass child please right <laughs> baby if you only knew right mm-hmm. that's what you probably saying to this person now it's like a deep reflection for this person they mad because you walked away they mad because if they see you living up your best life, if they checking on you on social media sites, probably got a fake account, try to figure out what the fuck you doing, especially if you have your account open. Mm, be mindful, present, and aware. If somebody got a private account, they fucking piss the fuck off. They're like, damn. They looking at the whole entire situation like, damn, could I do things right? But they didn't realize that your intuition didn't steer you wrong because... When you clearly told them how you are and how you feel and you stand in your ground, <laughs> they they in a motherfucking whirlwind, right? I don't know if you were dealing with somebody that was a thief. Shit, a thief in the night. Mm. But they know that you are very mature for your age and uh, age really ain't nothing but a number. But the fact that you are on your journey and you're healing and you're doing things right, they sitting there looking at you shining. But it's like every time they try to go to somebody to consult, like, what did they do wrong? Hmm. Collective, that person you were dealing with, they knew what the fuck they did wrong. Hmm. Something about denial and codependency. They observing. But they know you standing your ground and you got this peace back in your life, right? And it's like when you try to tell somebody, let go of those control issues because you ain't dealing with that bullshit right because you embracing your energy as you should but if it is somebody new that you were dealing with and they seen that shit and if you did not have your account on private and it was open for the world to see shit <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say collective because they know that your ass is moving forward you shining you healing you getting your mind right you getting your body right and you like yo you on this journey so it don't matter about the trials and tribulations because you truly understood the lesson right and no matter how many different scenarios is in this read you can clearly see you walked away to succeed because you're getting that victory back in your life they mad because you said i don't give a fuck no more I collective is like that. Collective is like, you damn right. <laughs> they don't give a fuck no more. Somebody's in the head about you. But you embrace that energy of self-loving yourself. Why? Because it always started with you. So that's what I have for you, Collective. If it makes sense, you already know. But mind you, this is your read, Collective. So if you are dealing with somebody... And there was a situation that had occurred to that, <laughs> you broke free.